Captain Morgan Swin, motherfucker! Hello world, and I am Captain Morgan Swint, and Free For All is not my game mode, that is for damn sure. This gameplay is actually fairly old, and it's probably one of the very first game, I mean Free For Alls that I've ever done. I mean, I've done a few, like maybe one or two, maybe three, rage quit every single one of them, because it was just way too unpredictable for my taste. And this is probably the first one I've ever won, surprisingly. Didn't win by, you know, a good KD, I guess you could say. I could have done better. But I never played Free For All and Black Ops 1, so I didn't exactly know how hectic Nuketown was going to be. But it actually, I thought that it was going to be like slow paced, you know, Free For All, just eight people shooting at each other, especially on big maps, I thought it was going to be slow paced. Well, boy, was I fucking wrong, because then I realized the true clusterfuck of it all. The spawns are way unpredictable, I get shot in the back all the time, and surprisingly, any time I try to get in a free-for-all lobby, I always end up on Nuketown. I don't know if that's just my luck, but any lobby I'm in, it ne and Nuketown is one of the little votes you can vote for, it never gets outvoted. Which brings me to my fucking question of, why does everyone like Nuketown? Like, seriously, someone leave me a comment answering this, I don't get it. The spawns are absolutely unpredictable. I know I keep saying that, but I cannot stress it enough how much it gets on my nerves that I just can't even understand how these spawns are just flipping so fast. Even on Kill Confirm or Team Deathmatch, like, people will even end up behind you and you won't even expect it. I can't even spawn kill on Nuketown worth shit, that's for sure. I've never, like, been on a Nuketown map and not seen a clusterfuck of snipers and shotguns. I'm always getting screwed by snipers and shotguns. Especially quickscopers. Quickscopers know how to just fucking take my ass and rape it. It's unbelievable how I can't even compete with quickscopers. I don't even get a shot out unless they miss, of course. Then I get, you know, fairly lucky and I got a shot there. But... LMGs always stay lurking in and out of doorways or corners on Nuketown, too. I don't understand it, and literally probably 90% of them have target finders, and target finders is probably one of the worst things ever put into Call of Duty history. I honestly believe that Black Ops 2 has probably failed a little bit with trying too hard to be high-tech. I mean, maybe that's just my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, you know? But, in my opinion, I think that Black Ops 2 tried a little too hard to be more high-tech and advanced, you know, with laser sights, target finders, <coughs> damn, all that good stuff. It's just not exactly my thing. I, I find laser sights pretty pointless. And... In this gameplay, I was actually trying to teach myself to hit fire, which is why you see me just kind of spraying in circles and shit. I've never hit fire before, before this. I was just trying to train myself. It actually comes in handy to hit fire when you need to, because I have been screwed a lot trying to aim and shoot on every shot, even close-up shots. So, if you see me just spraying around in circles, that's, that's what it is. I'm training myself to hit fire. And I'm also using the Peacekeeper because I heard good things about it, so I decided, you know, get a couple Microsoft points, download the Revolution Pack, but I ended up taking it off because I kept ending up with the maps. Yeah, I know it sounds stupid why I get the Revolutionary Mac Pack and then, you know, get tired of getting the maps that you bought. Well... Truth be told, I just wanted to see what the Peacekeeper was all about. I actually ended up liking it a lot. But nothing fits me better than assault rifles. You will learn that soon enough that assault rifles are my number one thing. I constantly use a 94 or the M8, not on burst. I don't know why I absolutely fail with burst fire weapons. I have to have them switch to full auto. That's one of the things I actually do like about Black Ops 2 that was a very first, which was the select fire. There are times when, you know, people get kind of frustrated with them, you know, with FAL on full auto. It's really, it's pretty fucking stressful. It's, 
The FAL alone is already one of the strongest assault rifles aside from the SMR semi-automatic and making it full auto just made it that much more overpowered. So those that's probably the only two weapons I refuse to I refuse to use the select fire on. I had only used select fire on burst weapons and the SWAT. I use that quite often also. But of course, only on full auto. Don't like burst fire. It's just I don't find that very cool at all. It makes a weapon pretty overpowered if you ask me. But we're coming to the end of this gameplay, so I hope you enjoyed it and come back to visit me. Next video will be soon.